Hey, sir. You don't have to bother with that sir crap. Just call me Billy. Okay, so what are you going to do about the Hell in a Cell match? What do you mean? Indiana Jones was one of the participants in the match and you fired him. Oh, shit. He was booked for that match? Damn it. Oh, I know. Put Superman in there. That was kind of random. Why'd you just choose him like that? Because I said so. Now go find Superman and tell him he's now in the match. Yes, sir. I, I mean, Billy. Well, apparently Superman is now going to take Indiana Jones's spot in the six-man Hell in a Cell match. Despite the fact Superman was the first one eliminated from that battle royal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 216 pounds, Vince, the ShamWow Guy, Ofo! Vince Offer, he's feeling really cocky after he beat Billy Mays at the Super Series. And that's pretty much earned him a match on this card here tonight. You see that cell hang above you? It won't be used until later in the night. But, what the hell? I'm now making our match a hell in a cell match. And since you've pissed me off so much lately, I'm adding in one more thing. You lose this match, you'll be fired. Guys, lower the cell. And now Billy Mays, he's running down to the ring. And the cell's being lowered. These two are getting ready to go at it. And now the bell is rung. I'll pitch off with you any time, Vince. Billy Mays. Even though I have all the respect in the world for him, I think it's getting to the point now where he just doesn't know when to hang it up. The fact that he lost to Vince Offer at Super Series kind of showed his ring rust. And after being in the GM position for as long as he has, I just don't think he has that full-on athleticism needed to be a TWA athlete. Spot on, RJ. And now Billy Mays working on the neck with Vince. I hope Vince takes Billy to the top of the cell and gives him a Hercules hook, dropping him right off the cell. Well, that's being kind of harsh. 
I mean, I said what I said about Billy, but that wouldn't be very professional. In the meantime, Vince working on the legs and now just really punching at Billy Mays' head. There's the atomic drop. And now a one-legged atomic drop. So far, these men have not used the cell as a weapon. And now Vince. There's a backbreaker reverting into a Russian leg sweep. Now, using boxing-like jabs, Vince Offer thinking he's Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson or something. And he's very confident he wants to go for the pin, but to no avail, Billy Mays kicks out. Oh, and Billy Mays with a punch to Vince Offer's face. This match, as Billy Mays said on an episode of Battlefront, that this would be the tiebreaker to find out who is the better athlete, the better spokesperson, once and for all. I don't think it's that fair, though, that if Vince loses this, he's fired. Well, I think it's getting to the point where these two simply cannot coexist in the same company. These two men have had battles going back even before Battlefront started. And there's the Hercules hook. No. This could be it right here. If the ref makes the pin. One, two, three. Billy Mays did it. And Vince Offer is out of here. You saw it all, Billy Mays. Therefore, Vince Offer must leave the Television Wrestling Association. Well, we have officially seen the end of Vince Offer's tenure in the TWA. Great. Vince Offer, another person who's let me down. 